Hello my dear friends, today I am going to share with you the chapter wise and unit wise weightage of biology topics for NEET 2024 exams. Upcoming NEET exam will be conducted on 5th May, so you have only less than 5 months in your hand. In this short time, we have to study, you have to revise your syllabus very strategically and obviously smartly. Smartly means you have to know the weightage of different chapters in previous year's question papers and those chapters will be your first priority. Weightage means it is not like that you can ignore other chapters. The purpose of knowing the weightage is only the order of your preparation, the study for your need to 0 to 4 exam. Today, from this discussion, firstly, you can understand the trends of questions depending from last year, few years. And secondly, I want to give you a disclaimer that NTA is very famous in giving surprises. So anything can happen. Suppose last year there are 10 questions came from a chapter. In 2024, there may be 3 questions from that particular chapter. But yes, usually they follow a trend and today I will show the trend. Watch this video until the end because at the end we will discuss the actual study order. Ok sir, let's start. First of all, you know we have 10 units in our NEET biology syllabus. Initially, there was 38 chapters including class 11 and class 12. But in class 11, there are 22 chapters. In class 12, there are 16 chapters. But after reducing the syllabus for NEET, we have only 32 chapters. But see, the number of units are still 10 there. I have analyzed previous, previous 5 years questions. So, the highest weightage will be given firstly on both the human and plant physiology, then genetics and evolution. Human and plant physiology, both of these unit 4 and 5 uh, have 8% and HMO total to 26% weightage and the genetics evolution unit carrying 17% weightage. Uh, after these two units, you will follow, you will study, you will find here that the first unit living organisms, uh, diversity of living organisms, it carrying 15% uh, of weightage. Now we will go, let's start. Now, one by one, I will show you how many units are there from class 11 and uh, I will show you the unit wise weightage based on last five years question papers. papers. Uh, class 11 have five units, diversity of living organisms, structural organization in animals and plants, cell structure and function, plant physiology and human physiology. This is the first unit, diversity of living organisms. It contains four chapters named as the living world, biological classification, plant kingdom and animal kingdom. Now follow more or less weightage. In 2023, there was no question was asked from the living world, but in 2024, one question may come. Biological classification, there was no question in 2023. In this year, one or two question is uh, can, can come. Plant kingdom, there, there must be three questions, I think. And from animal kingdom, three or four questions can be expected. Now we'll go for the second unit, uh, structural organization in plants and animals. In last year, uh, the, in this unit, there are three chapters, morphology of flowering plants, anatomy of flowering plants, and structural organization in animals. In 2023, from morphology of flowering plants, there are four questions. In this year, uh, three questions are um, expected. Anatomy of flowering plants is also three questions, and structural organization, you can expect three questions. But uh, there are additional uh, frog, cockroach, and animal tissue have been added in this year. I will go for the next, week, next unit, that is cell structure and function. Uh, this unit contains three chapters, cell, biomolecules and cell cycle, cell division. Uh, and uh, this unit is very easy unit and very easy to score also. In 2024, uh, from the cell, there are the three questions are expected. In biomolecules, we can expect another three questions and cell cycle and cell division is very important because we can expect uh, nearly six questions from this unit. From this unit, Two chapters have been deleted. The first one, the transport in plants. So, no questions will be asked. And the second one is mineral nutrition. So, no question will be asked from these two chapters. Accordingly, NTA goes the syllabus accordingly. So, if those, these two chapters have been deleted, so photosynthesis will have more weightage. Respiration in plants, plant growth and development. We, we can expect total 10 questions. 10 questions mean 40 marks from this unit. In animal physiology unit, there, are, there were seven chapters, but uh, from this unit, the first chapter, digestion and absorption has been deleted. So, no questions will be uh, asked from this chapter. So, accordingly, the other chapters will make up and uh, they will uh, have higher weightage, breathing and exchange of gases 
three questions body fluid and circulation three questions excretive products and elimination three questions locomotion and movement three questions neural control and coordination four questions chemical control and integration three questions well go for that this is uh, our class 11 uh, 11 syllabus is uh, completed now we'll go for the class 12 syllabus it contains another five minutes reproduction genetics and evolution biology and human welfare biotechnology and last ecology and environment the reproduction unit contains four chapters reproduction in organism uh, the chapter have been deleted in this year so no questions will uh, expected from this chapter reproduction in flowering plants we can expect three chapter questions human reproduction is very important we can expect four questions from this chapter reproductive health it we can expect three questions from this chapter now genetics and evolution uh, this is very conceptual questions in 2023 uh, from the chapter principles of inheritance and variation there were five questions I can expect in there in this year six questions will be come because uh, we have less chapters in this year now. Molecular basis of inheritance is another conceptual chapter and it, it there are eight or nine questions can ask can be asked. Evolution uh, from evolution chapter one or two questions can be asked. Biology and human welfare the, the eighth unit it contains three chapters earlier but now strategies for enhancement in food production have been deleted so no questions will be asked from the second chapter. Uh, so there are two chapters human health and disease we can expect four questions uh, from this chapter and from microbes in human welfare we can expect two another two questions then ninth unit biotechnology uh, this is very good and very easy very easy to score also and mainly NCRT based questions come from these two chapters of biotechnology unit uh, in 2023 uh, four questions were, uh, were uh, from biotechnology principles and processes. Biotechnology and it, it, its application, it had also three questions. Uh, in this year, in 2024, we can expect a total eight questions from this unit uh, for each from those two chapters of biotechnology. Now, this is the last unit, uh, ecology and environment. There are four chapters were present, but last chapter environmental issues have been deleted, so no questions will be asked uh, accordingly. The other three chapters will get higher weightage uh, total 10 questions can come uh, organisms and population we can expect four questions from the ecosystem chapter we can expect another three questions and biodiversity and conservation chapter is like ecosystem we can expect three or four questions now we will discuss how to study which topics are important for need 202324 first of all you have to study smartly smart means you will study in detail primarily those chapters which can which carry higher weightage because after two months you couldn't absorb then you will feel it is taking more time so time is wasting then you will revise superficially which is not the right way to do with the high weighted chapters so firstly you will study way well cell they will really revise the chapter cell cycle uh, chapter because when you will study cell cycle then only you can understand genetics the conception of genetics will help you to grasp biotechnology when you will complete these three topics you should know uh, that you are completed a major portion of biology most of the questions come from these three topics i will give you uh, in near future the nutshell of these chapters very soon now you will study the ncrt book uh, but not only revision side by side you have to fish various questions so you practice more and more mcqs from these chapters you will get the essence of the chapters from my videos don't take biology casually who takes it lightly or casually will not be able to score well so whatever you say among 720 marks biology is carrying 50 marks of the total you have to score more than 300 in biology which will help you to clear the need to 024 so if you love biology you must start your revision and if you don't like biology then you have to do it more intensively so revision and practice these things are very important so best of luck for your neat ug preparation thank you stay tuned for your our next video and i would truly grateful if you enjoyed this one